Welcome back, you beautiful sons of bitches. So today, I'm going to paint my engine compartment because I'm tired of it looking like butt. And then, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to scuff everything up. I'm going to tape it all off because I don't want to overspray it on anything else. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to go down to Warehouse Paints right now and pick up some uh, two cans of rattle can paint that I had matched. And then, uh, yeah, paint it up. Been waiting to do this for quite a long time, so let's get into it. But first, haircut time. Boom. Scotch pads. There's the color. I had. I just. I just told them to use the uh, the same color they would matched off my uh, my hood that I brought into them, so that I could paint that door. So should be all right. Okay. So first things first. This is just gonna be like a quick paint up of the engine compartment. It's not gonna be like no show quality piece. I don't want the car to look like that. All right. I maintain the car pretty well. The paint's actually really decent. So I'm just gonna do like a rough, down and dirty, paint it up, make it look a lot better, and then just move on. Because I don't got time to take it to a booth and do all that crap. Not, not gonna happen. Maybe someday in the future, but not now. I'm gonna start by scuffing up everything on the inside here, and then I will tape it off. Like I said, here's my paint, here's my pads. Let's get into it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this uh, center brake line that comes down and then it goes back up and over the firewall because, um, well, I was hoping to just not. I was just going to paint over it, but might as well just take it off. Um, so that way I can get this uh, fuel line off as well because I don't need it anymore. So I'll disconnect that, take it off, and then that way I'll just have open space. And then once I'm done painting it, then I'll put this brake line back on and it uh, should look a little bit better. So let me get cracking on that one.
go ahead and slide that bad boy underneath the car so it's not to get stepped on or damaged or bent or anything so we'll just leave that there and of course i leaked out some brake fluid but oh well okay so now that i've gotten this off it's kind of opened it up to be a little bit easier to work around i'm gonna see if i can't just bend this out of the way even though i don't necessarily need this uh fuel line anymore it is the original one and i'd kind of like to try to keep it intact just in case maybe there's someone else out there who could who could use it who's restoring a car so but then again i don't know there is like a million of these things out there for sale so maybe i could just bend it up out of the way Ooh, you know what even better i'll just do that i'll just bend it down and keep it right there all right, so it is now a new day because the wife and I had to go up to her parents' house and grab a treadmill at the last minute. So anyway, new day, but I got a buddy here, Alex. He's gonna be helping me uh, jam on the car. And so what I'm gonna do right now, get the uh, old throttle cable disconnected. I already went on the inside and uh, took it off the pedal, but I just gotta pull it through the hole. And then we're going to uh, scuff up the backside now and this fender, and then a little bit on this side and uh, get it prepped for paint. Start masking some crap right. off. It's going to be sweet. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. All right. Let's do it. blowing get the paint Okay, so now that I got the whole thing scuffed, so, sorry, we, we, we got the whole thing scuffed and pretty much sanded, we're going to start masking some stuff off, and then uh, and the next thing we're going to do after that is uh, obviously painting it. So, like I said, this is just going to be a quick, down and dirty, repaint the engine bay. I'm not trying to get this like a, like a showpiece, that's not what I'm doing. At some point in the future, maybe I'll take the whole car apart and have it repainted, but for right now... I'm just wanting to get some fresh paint in here just so I can get rid of all this crap looking engine bay and then uh, it'd, be, it'd be really nice looking for when the Hemi goes in. So 
Let's get into it. Oh, something else I forgot to mention before we start taping things off. Um, if you are doing this and you have gone through and you've scuffed stuff up and you're sanded or whatever, and once you've got it, like, you've, you've blown all the dust off, go through with some degreaser and wipe down all the surfaces. Otherwise, you know, you'll create some, like, fish eyes and bubbles. Like, obviously, I'm not really, like, super caring about that, you know, but it is nice to go through and wipe everything down with some degreaser. That way, you know, it just looks as best as you can possibly get it. Having fun, Alex? Yes. <laughs> that, that was a very that was a very convincing yes. <laughs> My tape jobs aren't perfect, but at least I get covered. I'm a professional here. Oh, that's what we are. We are professionals. <laughs> Professional hackery. <laughs> Just kind of like that. And then finish taping this side up. Tape this up. Brake lines. And we're good. All right. Looks damn good. Yeah. 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 I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Are you happy with that? Yes, I'm happy with that. Now look at this. Oh yeah. Now I gotta clean that spot off where my footprint's gonna be. Okay. Astounding form. <laughs> that was a nice, not entry and egress, but exit and <laughs> whatever the opposite of that was. <laughs> Yeah, we were about to. My butt down in here. <laughs> we were about to start, and then uh, we realized, oh, we should probably. Uh, tape up the uh, large hole that goes into my cab <laughs> so yeah. I'm not just spraying white on I my mean, carpet. Unless you like white carpet. Hey, I'm not, you know, I'm not opposed to having white carpet, but... I'm a big, big pimpin over here with some white carpet. Yeah. I'd like to avoid it, but, you know, I, would, I wouldn't cry if it happened. Oh, yeah. Fill her in. Is it uh, sticking to that rusty firewall very well? It is, actually. <laughs> For the most part. Okay. Do the job. I better do this one, too. What one? This one. Oh, that little guy? Ah, uh, I wouldn't worry about that little guy. But just in case. <laughs> okay. So, I figured I'm just going to spray the... Uh, Bottom of the frame rail is black first. That way, we don't have to tape off the entire freaking thing once we've painted all the white. So, we're just gonna paint this black real quick. Same thing on the other side, but just below here on the on the sides of it, we're not gonna paint uh, the top sides black. So just below here, and then down, and then uh, let that dry for like a little bit, and then we'll. Uh, we'll tape this off with some bags that those hang down, and then we'll just paint the rest of it. So what I'm using is uh, the uh, Rust Tough Enamel. Um, I like this paint. I've tried some other like flat black, uh, like rust type paints, and I don't know. Just, it, it, like there's a there was another paint that I used that left like a kind of like a greenish hue in the sunlight, and this is like this has left it just like super black. So, and it's the same thing that I did underneath on my inner fender wells, um, as far as that black goes. But yeah, I like it. It's not bad.
Yeah, that looks sweet. Oh, this is an awkward angle down here. Yeah, the black, this black is like... Amazing. Watch your back on that corner right there. <sighs> yeah. Watch your back, watch your back. Watch out, watch out, watch your back. Thanks, now I'm going to go home and watch Fast and Furious. I know you are. Okay, now that I'm nice and high from all that, <laughs> I'm gonna let that sit, and then uh, we'll tape that off, and then we'll do the white. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be plenty. Well, yeah, you don't, you know. We can have a little bit of an excess amount, it's fine. For sure. <laughs> What's this? More crap for the wife? <laughs> yup. Right, have a good day. You too. Yup. Those can just stay up there and hold down the plastic tarp. <laughs> She's like, why is there pink? Pink? Pink! Paint overspray on my boxes. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna turn out real good. I have a good feeling about this. I just hope you don't have to pee. Uh, yeah, that's that is something I'm worried about because I only got two cans, and I figured it's already white, so it shouldn't, you know, shouldn't take much to cover it because white actually is uh, is pretty good itself by just or uh, it's pretty good spreading. It lays out nicely. It, co it got good coverage. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's the nice thing about white is that it does have good coverage. It, it it lays out nicely. It's not like black where you gotta like you gotta do it a million times or in some other color. White actually lays out pretty nice. So, and the fact that you're already painting over white, right? 
you're not having to cover up with darker colors, so it should uh, hopefully have enough paint there for it. Two cans worth. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go over it really lightly, really liberally. And then uh, once I kind of see what's been covered, what hasn't, and then, uh, then I'll hit it pretty hard. I mean, I got to say, though, this tape job looks pretty professional. It's because it is professional. Professional who or what? I don't know. But... YouTube professional. Right. <laughs> YouTube professional. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's good enough for who it's for at this moment in time. Just one look at you. Do -do 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 -do. And I know it's gonna, it's gonna be. Oh. Oh, yeah. Is that Juan? Or is that Brody? Fastback Mustang? Yeah. Oh, Brody! From out of nowhere. Look at this gorgeousness. What's up, dude? What's happening, man? Not much. Ooh. I was just taking it out and saw you were working on the car, so I thought I'd stop by. I'm in the middle of filming the YouTubes. Awesome. Got a, what's up, dude? What's up? Got to, uh, you know, distract you for a little bit. That's cool. Okay. Let's let's talk about the, uh, the oh, rust yeah. thing here. Oh yeah, it's Mac wheels and everything. I already went through the Dude, I'm tires. so glad you got it back on the road. Yeah, it's great. Yes. Nice Corbo seats. Thanks. Nice. It's a little bit better of an engine than the last one. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's a 331 stroker. Oh, very nice. That's badass. <laughs> it's really funny. I was like, I was like, I was sitting in the garage and I was like, man, I hear some sort of like Ford goodness happening out in the distance. <laughs> and, then, and then you come around the corner. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, dude, this is badass. Yeah, it's nothing insane, insane, but it has all the good stuff without going you know next level if that makes sense your outfit is what's next level <laughs> i mean <laughs> damn <laughs> well, you know you gotta dress for the occasion to take the car out you know that's part of the fun i'm ready hit it Yeah, dude. Come check it out. Yeah, I gotta see this thing. Okay, it's pretty much masked off. Hey, dude, look at this. Ready for some uh, for some paint? No more 318. No more 318. Yeah, 318 is long gone. So now it's gonna be heavy goodness. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, I'd say. Sweet. Brody's Mustang is like legit quick. <laughs> and he says it's only like around 300 horsepower. Imagine what this is going to be like. <laughs> ah, damn it, I can't wait for this thing to get in there. All right, I just need to get this Hemi in there now. Okay, so everything's uh, taped off. You got plastic. I'm going uh, to go ahead and uh, start spraying. If you guys want to take a look at the situation that's in here, looks pretty good. We're ready to go. And uh, I'm thinking 
I'm thinking maybe I don't have enough paint because I only got two cans, but... It is white it, already in the engine bay. I know. I know we talked about that already, but I'm still a little skeptical. It's fine. All right. Let's see. All right, Michelangelo. It's Michelangelo. Let's start right here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna move my wheels out of the way. You know that that'd probably be a good idea. I feel like having white overspray on my wheels. That's probably going to be a hard spot to get, honestly. I know. I just kind of want to get like a basic... Well, you want to get a tack coat down. I know someone's going to say, you need to be having a mask gun. It's crazy talk. We got a ventilation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's called outside. You know what I just thought of? Hmm. You've been using that frame rail to step on to get out of the car. I know, I should probably clean it up. N no, not that, but when you're all done and finished painting, where are you going to step on to get out to help get yourself out of there with everything being wet? Oh, I'll crawl out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give That's fine. <laughs> you had me like freaked out there for a second. Like, uh. You're going to be surrounded by wet paint. <laughs> <laughs> Stinks. There's your COVID approved mask. This probably works better. <laughs> and it's actually doing something. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> it's actually covering pretty nice. It is. And it actually looks really, really nice too. Just by doing that light little tack yeah. coat over the whole engine bay so far, it actually does appear to look a little better. I was originally just going to go to the store and buy like spray paint that was like somewhat close because I mean you're really not gonna see in here all that much but I was like screw it so I just had I had the paint paint matched already because like I said I had to take that hood in because the the paint place needed to see something that was bigger than um, like a business card well there's nothing on this car that I can take off that's got the paint from the outside that's bigger than a business or smaller than a business card so I had to take them my whole hood and then they paint match that and they mix me up some like actual paint that I'm going to use to paint this door. Cause you can see it's like, well, I don't know if you can see it right now cause the plastic's covering, but um, yeah, I painted it when I first got this car cause I had a primer gray door. Um, I just painted it with some paint as close as I could to get it to match. And then uh, it's just been bugging me ever since and <coughs> people won't stop bugging me about it. What are you gonna paint the door? <coughs> so as soon as all this is done painted at some point, once the hemi swap is all done, because I don't really feel like painting that door and then just walking by it a million times and scratching it up and whatnot. So once the hemi swap is done, then I'll paint that door and then I'll put that uh, little emblem on. How much paint do you think you got left in that can? It's actually, it's actually doing pretty it's good. Got some, I think I'm like right, like right around here. Still got some paint left, okay. You let tack I'll up. To, I'll be able to cover most, yeah. most of it in here with like a, a pretty decent coat, and then I, like I said, I got a whole nother can. So you gonna let it tack up for a minute here, and then keep going. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of. I know I should probably let it tack up and, and dry a smidge, but um, I kind of want to just get as much down as I can. In little increments. I mean, it already looks better. Yeah, freaking world's better. Well, all right, let's not. You know what? You flipped your hood off your car. <laughs> and, uh, what she's referring to, I will post later. But when I first got this hood on, 
<laughs> so I just had it sitting on there. And me and my friend John, uh, we were just take. I, and I was driving slow, and I told him, I was like, look, the hood's just sitting on here. It's not mounted. So we were just, like, putting outside the neighborhood, and we were just going, like, little places right here, just taking some pictures. And then I told him, I was like, hey, just sit right here and get, like, a rolling shot of me, you know, just driving by because I wanted to see what the hood looked like. And all of a sudden, this homeless dude was like, punch it! And I was like, all right. And I just floored it. Completely forgot the hood wasn't down. And then just went whoosh and caught it all on film. In fact, whatever. I'll just show it to you right now. So, yeah, now that you guys have seen that, don't worry. Nothing happened to it. <laughs> I, I fixed it. It's still in one piece. It's it right there. It's still in one piece. The only thing that happened that I did fix and I, and I went through it is like, uh, I'll, if you can see like right through the plastic, but like right here on like on like the beak part of the hood where it comes down. Um, it just had like a little crack like right here, but that was it. I mean, it literally it went up, and then it just like landed straight back down, so it didn't didn't come at some like weird angle. I was pretty uh, stoked on that, but yeah. Make sure your hood is secure, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, first coat is done. I'm actually really surprised that one can covered all of this. It's really, really nice. What do you think, Alex? It's looking pretty good, honestly. Um, it's covered pretty well. Dude, that's just rattle can <laughs> that was paint matched. <laughs> pretty good. There's not really too many paint issues with, uh, I don't see anything with any oil or anything contaminated wise on the- No, I don't either. On the surface, I don't see any of that. So the degreaser, important step, don't skip that. So I think once I get this, um, or sorry, once this is done tacking up, then I'll go in there with the second can and finish it up. You know, there's still like a couple little things. You know what, I'll just get that right now. Oh, that's it for that can. Done. She done. I think you can do it in two. Oh, this is going to be easily done in two. You can do two cans. Oh, yeah. Our story is a strange one Like a work of science fiction People, they come and go as the good times roll Crossing paths along a dusty road This year it was a good, good year I hope so now my vision is clear Who knows how long I'm gonna stay Ladies and gentlemen, she is done. It looks amazing. Oh man. It looks really, really good. Freaking perfect. Literally covered the whole thing in two cans. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. What do you think, dude? I think it turned out great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially with two cans. I mean, it, it worked out well. It worked out perfect. Yeah. We'll, we'll see even more when we pull the tape lines off and everything. Right. It'll look even better. I mean, this is when you have the contrast of your black rails. I mean, all this comes off. Night and day difference. Yeah. Totally night and day. When should we uh, strip it off? Well, maybe, maybe when it dries a little bit or what? I'd wait a little bit. Especially your components. I'd probably give it a good amount of time. I mean, you laid it on pretty good in the last couple coats there, so. Right. I think you should wait a little bit. Yeah. I wouldn't do it right now. Man, it looks really good. 
so yeah, all in all, actually uh, turned out really, really well. I'm, it, it did. You know, I'm I was like, impressed. Yeah, I was like really impressed with it. So um, we're just gonna let it dry some more, get it tacked up, um, and then uh, we're and then we're gonna start peeling the tape and plastic off, and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like in contrast with the rest of the car. Yes. So, and I know there's a couple spots <laughs> that uh, like where we taped off. It's gonna be, it's it's gonna look a little weird. Um, because we kind of taped off just like only the engine bay. So like just above, like where the fenders come down, it's still going to be like that original paint, but that's fine. Like I said, I just wanted the whole engine bay to be painted because when the six pack hood goes on, like that's all you're going to, you're all, that's all you're going to see. Um, it's just like the outside of the car. So when you take the hood off, then you'll be able to see the, the freshly well, painted the engine bay. Well, the 6.1's really going to contrast really well when you lift that six pack off there too yeah especially after having a fresh painted bay yeah for sure so <laughs> especially with those awesome valves uh, with the uh, coil pack covers with these <laughs> badass coil pack covers that my buddy kale painted <laughs> sitting in there you know what let's just do a little something right now boom get a load of that <laughs> Even though, yeah, they're going to be sitting, like, a little off to the side. But, dude, <laughs> that looks badass in here. That's freaking perfect. Especially with the white. Oh, it's so, it's so glorious. It's going to look great when it's all in there. It really is. I'm so happy. Okay, so I just went over everything else. I just kind of touched up a couple little spots that I saw. And then I touched up the black on the frame rails. And uh, so now I'm going to start taking the uh, the tape off so let's check it out Like I said, I was just trying to get the whole engine bay. I'll worry about the fender later. <laughs> that looks like ass. <laughs> All right, let's get a uh, little close-up view here. Spinning all around, took all the tape and stuff off. The Willwood stuff's looking good. By the way, this happened because I got freaking degreaser on top of that, and it just ate the paint right off. So, at some point, I'll get a new lid, but it's not crucial right now. But, dude, it looks amazing. I'm gonna repaint this black. So I'm just, but I'm just leaving it there for right now. But, oh man, it looks good. Like I said, I, I still left some of, of the uh, patina on the uh, on the fender. I'm not a complete savage. I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna destroy my patina. <laughs> no, it came out really good. Though. Dude, it came out really good. Painted all that black. I got my uh, my frame rails painted black. Ooh, man, it looks good. Same thing on that side. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. I know. I, I, like I said, I know it's not like a professional job. It's not meant to look like a freaking trailer queen or whatever. I just wanted to get some paint in here so it would look at, at least look decent for when the Hemi goes in. And uh, I don't know, man, I can, I'm pretty stoked with it. I it think looked, it would look great when it goes in there because of the fact that you, know, you just made a nice frame for it. Yeah. It, I frame in the Hemi. Yeah, it just looks badass, especially with the, uh, you know, American flag coil pack covers, but. So, all right, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, we'll close this out. So huge thanks to my buddy Alex, who's getting in his little Miata right here and leaving. <laughs> you know, I couldn't have done it without him. Um, man, this was a, a little bit of a 
chaotic project, but all in all, it it turned out really, really good. I'm oh, it's so bright you can't even see it. I'm really happy with that. That looks freaking sweet. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go over some of the other like little things, like the wiper motor. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, like some of the uh, like the wiring brackets and stuff. I'll go back over that and, and touch those up with black, how they're supposed to be. But um, well, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. And uh, man, I can't wait to get the Hemi in there. Now that looks like just freaking amazing. But anyway, if you feel I have earned your subscription, go ahead and please subscribe. Tell your friends, share it, like it, do whatever. And uh, dudes, I'll see you next time.